You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrians for Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about LaChina James. That's right, LeBron. It seems that Shaquille O'Neal, the great one that played for the Orlando Magic and played monumentally historically for the L.A. Lakers, among several other teams, one of the most dominant players we have ever seen in the NBA. And let's be honest, somebody has done a lot of work for sheriff's departments around the country. And if you ask me, I would step out on a limb and say Shaquille O'Neal might just be an American patriot. That's right. Uh, well, of course, he's not shy. He works for TNT, and much like his counterpart, somebody that we also like a great deal on this channel, Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal is not afraid to voice his opinion, even if it might be an unpopular opinion, especially with the woke NBA crowd, right? Well, he has come out. He has decided that he will would slam LeBron James, and really, by slamming him, he really just decided to leave him off his list of the four most unguardable players in the history of the NBA all time. All time. Now, when I look at this list, I will say this. I do believe he's probably thinking in the last maybe 30 years. I don't know. There's no Bill Russell. There's no Walt, uh, Will Chamberlain, et cetera, et cetera on here. Uh, very quickly, for the sake of this video, we've brought back an old favorite. Crying ass LeBron James. That's right. Right down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we see LeBron shedding those good old Michael Jordan tears. It makes us happy. It makes us uh, smile on this channel. I'm also wearing, of course, our LaChina James shirt. You can grab that out of our merch store. Use promo code LaChina Sucks. X-U-X, -X, all one word. And let's get to this good old story. This is from the Sports Rush. Michael Jordan... Stephen Curry and Kobe Bryant, but no LeBron James. Shaquille O'Neal leaves the Lakers star off his list of most unguardable players ever. Wow. Lakers legend Shaquille O'Neal mysteriously leaves LeBron James off his list of the most unguardable players of all time. LeBron James recently made his long-awaited return from injury. Uh, long-awaited by who? The... Uh, the few hundred thousand people that are still watching the NBA returned from injury, and it seemed like the player never left. In just 29 minutes on the court, the King had 24 points, 7 rebounds, and 8 assists while shooting 50% from the field. His box plus minus was plus 7, a real projection of his impressive performance. I guess this website may be a pro LeBron James website. Given time... James will likely return to his pre-injury prime, a state where many consider him to be one of the most unguardable players of all times. However, it seems Shaquille O'Neal disagrees with that notion completely. The Lakers legend recently put out his list of the most unguardable players of all time, and let's just say he called his own number before he thought about including the chosen one. I don't know that I have a real problem with that. Shaquille O'Neal was dominant back in his day. Dominant. And let's be honest, he was pretty damn good in blue chips too. Shaq says he and Steph, Stephen Curry are far more unguardable than LeBron James. Shaquille O'Neal has, has become somewhat known for controversial statements just from his this season. Who can forget his beef with Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell? Since then, the player had seemingly mellowed out a bit, choosing to compliment players more than he criticized them. However, it seems that Shaq Diesel, we all know, is well and truly back. He recently shared an Instagram story that showed who he believed were the four most unguardable players of all time. There were pictures of himself, Stephen Curry, Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Steph Curry is shooting the lights out on the on uh, on the entire NBA this year. Let's be honest; he's carrying the Golden State Warriors on his back. Uh, we're not watching it, but he's carrying them on his back nonetheless. And Kobe, let's see, Stephen Curry, Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant were shown in the story. 
However, there was not even the slightest mention of Lachina James on this list. Many believe the TNT analyst did this as he felt salty over Jeannie Buss, not including him in her list of the five most important Lakers players of all time, but including James despite his short tenure in the franchise. Well, it was just that they were, I believe, on a different tier or something like that. Even if that is the case, we doubt the NBA community will pay too much heed to this list. While the greatest player of all time is heavily argued, it is almost ununanimously accepted that LeBron James is indeed one of the most unguardable players of all time. I don't know how you feel about that, guys. Uh, but I certainly think that at least Shaq has an argument to be considered one of the most unguardable players of all time. Let's be honest. Let's think back to Shaquille O'Neal playing center in the NBA. How many players did you ever see that challenged Shaq or, or was able to contain him, really guard him, stop him? Who on the defensive end would ever give him trouble? I can only think of one, and he gave a lot of people trouble, and that was Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. Let's be honest, okay? Hakeem the Dream could be on this list. I would put him ahead of one LaChina James. So, look, I've got no issues with Shaq Daddy calling his own number here. Uh, the Diesel throwing a little shade at LeBron James. Who, who, who do you believe is more unguardable? Shaquille O'Neal was a force. Why wouldn't he put himself on there? And let's be honest. Stephen Curry's making his way down the court, pulls up from 40 feet, and drops a tray on you. That's pretty damn unguardable. It is unguardable. And uh, look, people are all in Stephen Curry's face. He's dropping, he's dropping threes on people anyway. So, tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Is it Shaq or is it LeBron? I will take Shaq every time because, let's be honest, you know what Shaq also doesn't do? He doesn't disrespect his country at the same time as playing basketball. And without a shadow of a doubt, Shaquille O'Neal left the NBA in much better shape than where LeBron James, LaChina James, is going to leave it. Now, won't he? Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.